Thank you, Google. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. We're gonna go ahead and start the day off right. I'm excited. You guys ready for the weekend? So we're gonna go to work. But first, gotta get ready. And then later tonight, we have a photo shoot with Ebony Goshton. So stay tuned for that. And we'll see you at work. Ugh. All right, you guys. So I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on with me, why I haven't really posted much. But hey, it's 2019, I'm refocused, I'm ready to tackle this year, I'm ready to put out content on my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram. I know I've been lacking on really both. Yeah, it's kinda of hectic. So trying to catch up on all these obligations when I'm blessed with so many opportunities is just, it kind of gets a little overwhelming. I'm gonna focus more on my vlogging, my client work, as well as some, some cool gear reviews because I do have so many pieces of gear that I do wanna review for you guys. So yeah, we're gonna get into that this year. It's gonna be fun. By the way, this entire video is gonna be shot on the GoPro Hero 5 Session. My amazing girlfriend who actually bought this for me uh, on Christmas lit a fire under my butt and man, I'm, I'm ready to go. So this is gonna be a little different. I just wanted to kind of keep the camera low profile today. So today's gonna be fun. We're gonna work. I'm gonna record a little bit of us playing some ping pong. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. It really means a lot if you've been watching my videos since the start. Again guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the video and enjoy this nice driving GoPro B-roll, all right. Alright y'all, we just finished the day. It is the weekend, it is Friday. I'm so excited. We're about to go hit up a photo shoot with the one and only Ebony Goshton to the graffiti wall in downtown Houston. It's gonna take about an hour because 45 traffic is crazy right now. So come on, if you live in Houston and you don't know 45 traffic, get real. Let's go. All right, you guys. So before I used to do videography and photography and everything for fun, and I used to do music, play the guitar and record myself and mix the audio myself, put little videos behind them. I wanted it to be a complete production. And so I picked up a little camera. I would ask for, for help from my cousin and uh, my girlfriend. So it was a fun time and you know, Sometimes you get caught up in, in the adult life and you, you know, you got bills to pay and you got, you got stuff you need to take care of. You got your life to think about. You have your future to think about and what is the right path for me. You start thinking about all those things and you kind of just get, I feel like you just get overwhelmed and that's what happened with me. I felt overwhelmed with all those decisions and what, what was the right 
what's the right move for me? I'm working a full-time job. I have a girlfriend who I love very much and you know I want her to give her the attention and the time she needs because I think that's very important. My family has been really supportive of what I do. The constant environment of negativity that I was around uh, was, was just hindering my creative process. I got the feeling back because my loving girlfriend, you know, she, she noticed that I was, I was kind of down and not really like editing and, and I just wasn't doing that for, for like a, for a while. And I'm super grateful for her and like I love her so much for that and just do what makes you happy. Of course live, you gotta, you gotta work to live, you know what I mean? You gotta do what you gotta do to earn that money, to earn that bag, ha! <laughs> but eventually, man, you gotta, you gotta figure something out and just, what I, what, what I say is, go for the thing that you love, because if you regret it down the line, then what was the point? I am not going to waste it by complaining and by, by feeling sorry for myself or feeling like my work is not good enough or people don't like my work or people don't believe in me because at the end of the day the number one person who needs to believe in me is me you need to you need to spread your wings you need to do what you got to do in order to get out there but never forget the reason you do it another thing is just don't censor yourself to make yourself seem like more appealing to one side or the other, right? Like, I always tell that to people who are coming into the creative space and are trying to do it to maybe enhance their business or spread a message. Like, say what's on your mind, say it with 100% certainty and be genuine and just be yourself, man, and, and go for it. You have one life to live, time flies, man. Time flies, and you want to realize this now because you don't know what's gonna happen, right? Take advantage of the time that you do have here. Be good to the people who are good to you. There's a point where you have to listen to yourself, and you have to make the right decisions that you think are the right decisions. Because failure will always be there, and that's always an option, but you know what's a worse feeling than failure? I think is regret. Regret is the number one thing. I don't want to look back on my life, you know, when I'm, when I'm like 130 years old. And that's, just thinking about it now is just making me feel down, so. Sorry for going on that tangent, but anyways, we are on the way to the shoot. <laughs> In three, two, one. All right, it is cold. What is up, guys? We are here waiting for the model Ebony right now. I think she got lost or something, so she's turning around. But we got great art. Just uh, the tip of the iceberg. Uh, we have a great shoot. It's getting kind of chilly. I'm gonna grab my jagger real quick. I know it's Houston, but <laughs> it's it's pretty chilly right now. It's the end of January, and this is when uh, it kind of gets coldest. Uh, January through like March and stuff, but we're gonna go scope out the spot, we're gonna scope out the areas, see what mural she likes the best, and we're gonna, yeah, get at it, take some photos, take some bangers, and uh, I'll post them after the little B-roll segment that I do. I've been doing a lot of GoPro footage today, I just wanted to see the um, dynamic range and everything that it can handle. It's been a good day so far, so we're gonna keep it going and keep it creative, so alright. And there she is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. One and only Evan Gosh. Don't worry about it. How are you? Good. Doing okay? Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Dude, look at the fit. Heck yeah, man. Awesome. So we are going to check out some spots, check out which mural she likes yeah. the best, and get shooting. So, all right.